Hey you guys, it's Kristen and welcome back to The Gold Project. Today I'm behind the camera to bring you my December planner supplies haul. I don't have a lot of stuff to share with you so I'm hoping this video is pretty quick. The first shop that I purchased planner supplies from was the Reset Girl. Now around Black Friday she had a big sale going on and I took that opportunity to purchase three of the sticker organizer covers for my little 99 cent albums that I get from Walmart. I purchased the Planet Like a Boss cover. And I've already started filling these with stickers. Then I got the Planner Nerd with the hashtag. And that's the back. And then last but not least, I got this one that I haven't put in an album yet, the Planner Girl. Now, why do I use these as opposed to something else? I have certain stickers in these little albums that I want to be mobile. So if I go to my mom's house, for example, on the weekend, I can just pick these up and take them with me. They're already ready to go. For these, for example, I just have my Erin Condren stickers in those and some little dots. And in my other ones, I have some Reset Girl stickers and the Planner Society stickers. The bulk of my stickers are contained within other organizing systems, but I have some of them in these just to make them more mobile. So if I want to travel, I can just pick these up and go. Next, let's talk about Erin Condren. And Erin Condren is probably the bulk of this video because I made two separate orders in the month of December. So the first order that I purchased was for this set right here and this is her calendar clutch I think that's what it's called and the first weekend that she came out with these I was like I really don't need that I didn't look at any of her bundles at all I just thought I don't need those at all and then she came back with them again and I want to say that the price that I paid for this was five dollars more than the first weekend this set right here I paid twenty five dollars for and I want to say if I would have had my act together the weekend before, I would have paid 20 But this clutch right here is actually really nice. Like, I really wasn't expecting much from the, this little clutch. But when it came in, I thought, man, that's really nice. It's really thick. And it's actually very good quality. And in this came a set of the elastic bands. And these are actually really nice. I have the gray one on my planner right now. And then I think my daughter wants the pink one. But, I mean, they're really cute. And I know you could probably use a headband, but these are very, very cute. And they work very well. And then it came with, which was the main reason I purchased this calendar bundle, was for this 2016 12-month calendar. I like to keep this calendar to keep, um, to write down all of my blog posts and videos that I post. So it's kind of like my posting calendar. So this was the main reason why I purchased this bundle. So it's really nice this year. I think it's a little bigger than last year's as well. And I don't think the one I had last year had these extra pages, if my memory serves me correctly. Sorry, I had to rethink that. The uh, last item that I had in here was actually something that did not come in that order. So I apologize for that. So the last thing that came in this order was this desk calendar. I think that's what she's calling it. This is really, really nice too. This little acrylic box here. You just open it up and it works as an easel. And each one of these cards in here has a month on it. So there's 12 cards in here. You can sit this on your desk like so. And here's January's. It says dreaming after all is a form of planning. And you can just sit that right there on your desk. So I plan on keeping that on my desk in my office at home. And then once you are finished, 
There is a perforated edge right here and you can just rip off the calendar part on the side and send this if you want to as a postcard to somebody. Or if you're like me, I'm going to use it to decorate in my office, like frame it or putting put it on my pegboard that I have been doing to a lot of these type of things. So the January one says dreaming after all is a form of planning. February says do what you love and do it often. And I love that the lettering is made up of the gold foil. I think that is very nice. And then March says, if you do what you love with passion, success won't be far away. April says, allow yourself to let go. So I think these are awesome reminders to me, things I really need to think about. May says, the things we love tell us exactly who we are. June says, be bold, be strong, fight on. July, you have a brilliant heart and a beautiful mind. August says, don't quit your daydream. September says, breathe it all in, love it all out. October says, believe in your future self. November Strive for progress, not perfection. I love this, love this, love this. And I actually posted this on Facebook a couple of weeks ago after reading a blog post. Very good. And then last but not least, December says you've got this. So this is actually a very nice set if you were thinking about purchasing it. It is very, very nice. And my second purchases through Erin Condren were made during her Black Friday sale that I actually think she had for a week. And it was the 30% off the Good To Go section on her website. And the Good To Go section is items that do not need to be personalized. They can ship immediately. So I had my eye on a few things. So I took that opportunity for the 30% off to make those purchases. The first set of things that I purchased were these metallic sticky notes. I saw these on um, Pretty Neat Living's review of the new Erin Condren products. And I thought, those are so awesome. I love the metallic on them. So I purchased them. And they snap into your life planner. And this is really thick, this little um, card that the sticky notes are on. And all of the sticky notes have the metallic. It's not just the top sticky note, too. And then, in addition to that, I wanted to purchase some of the Erin Condren planner stickers. And I know she's fixing to come out with some ones that I'm waiting for at the beginning of 2016. that are actually based on each month. So, I'm waiting for those. But until those come out... I wanted to purchase these, and I think this is the Classic Collection Designer Sticker Book. And if we'll flip through it, and I'm sure you've seen this a million times on YouTube and Instagram and Facebook, but I just thought these were so neat, and I've never purchased any stickers from Erin Condren, and I was very, very happy with these. And there is even some happy birthday ones. And you could use these for presents or cards or anything like that. And there's some congrats and celebrate. So I'm very excited to use these in 2016. And then in addition to that, I actually think I made this purchase before the purchase I showed you at the beginning. Because I purchased these set of elastic bands not knowing I was going to purchase the calendar bundle. So they... but. Thankfully, they're different. So this actually has a gray one as well, but the gray one is in my planner right now. So this one is the red, teal, and gray. And there are actually two sizes of the elastic bands. There are this size. This is the smaller size. They fit the life planner. And she has a bigger size that fit, I think, the teacher lesson plan books and that size. And that might be all. And that is all for, and that is all for my purchases through Erin Condren. 
My next purchase came from May Designs. I've been looking for a calendar for 2016. That is in addition to the calendar I showed you that I'll be using for my YouTube videos and blog posts and in addition to my daily planner. And this year I decided to go with this May Designs book. This is a weekly and monthly calendar. So you have the monthly spread and then it breaks down into weekly. And I will be sharing the reason why I purchased this and how I will be using it in my 2016 goals video and post that I will be doing at the end of next week. My last planner supplies for the month of December came from Joanne and I am so excited. They arrived on my doorstep this morning. I did not think they were going to make it in time to put in this month's video, but they did and I'm so excited to share them with you. The first thing that I purchased from Joanne was more ink. I only have a few different colors of the Versa Magic Dewdrop um, little inks, so I decided to purchase some more this last week because they were 50% off. I got another black. This is the Midnight Black because if you watched any of my Plan With Me videos, I've probably said this, that my black needed to be replaced because I've used it so much, so I bought a new one. And then I got the, this is um, Hint of Pesto. So this is a darker green. I have the lighter kind of neon green, but I needed a darker one. So I got the Hint of Pesto. And then I do not have a brown, so I purchased Gingerbread. And then I thought this was going to be more of an orangey color. I'm hoping it is once I actually use it with a stamp. This is Pumpkin Spice. It looks kind of tan to me from this view, but it may not be once I apply it to a piece of paper. And the last purchases that I made from Joanne were for these Iris Small Photo and Craft Keepers. I bought two of these because they were originally $18 and they were on sale for nine. So I'm sorry, but I've already taken some of the inserts out. I am using them to organize something that I will be sharing at the beginning of January, and I've already started putting that together. But these two I hadn't used yet, so I wanted to show you what they look like. Now the inside comes with six. So you get the little box, and you get six of these little keepers. And they're very nice too. I've seen several people that use them to travel with planner supplies. So there's six in here. And it just snaps in front. I'm telling you, the Iris products are amazing. If you've ever thought about purchasing any of those, don't hesitate. I've got several of their um, keepers, and they're all great. And if you get them from Hobby Lobby and Joanne, they have them on sale frequently. So just keep checking if you look and they're not on sale. And all of these products that I'm mentioning today, I will put links below so that you can check those out. And that is all for this video. I hope you enjoyed seeing all of the planner supplies that I purchased during the month of December. I know I didn't purchase a whole lot, but I am pretty excited about all of the things that I did purchase. I hope you give this video a thumbs up, and I hope you subscribe if you haven't done so already. I hope you have a fantastic week, and until next time, bye.